Hello, Allie Dostel here again from the We Are Memory Keepers design team and today I'm going to share with you a few tips and tricks for using the Lifestyle Crafts letterpress tool to create elegant valentines. So I've already created kind of a frame here with some scrolls, some pretty scrolls from the wedding set of um, printing plates. So what I want to do is I want to add this word love right into the center there um, to make an elegant valentine card. So I've already cut my adhesive sheet down and I'm going to peel back um, one of the layers. Okay, and then I'm going to stick the smooth side or the back of my plate right on top of that and then peel back the other paper if I can get my nail in there. Yep, okay. So here's a trick. If I want to, to get the placement just right I'm going to put this sticky side up on my paper and just make sure that it's right in the center. Okay, then I'm going to take the other side of the platform, carefully and gently put that down so it doesn't move the plate at all, and push on the plate and that's going to stick it right exactly where I need it to be so it's lined up perfectly with my paper. Now I'm using these foam guides here to hold my paper in place so it doesn't move. So um, these are also great because you can use these to um, be your guide if you're going to do multiples like invitations or um, business cards or Christmas cards or whatever. These will just tell you exactly where you need to place that paper each time you use it so it lines up just right with your plate. Okay, now that I've got my plate adhered to the platform, I'm going to take my ink. This is the red ink and I'm going to take my um, ink plate and I'm just going to put about a pea size amount on the plate. You really don't need more than that or it won't make a clean impression. I'm going to take my brayer and I'm just going to roll this out to kind of thin it and make sure the brayer is completely covered. Okay, then you're going to roll over See if you can see that your plate gently and carefully. Check carefully that it's completely covered. Okay, now you're always going to keep a cleaning cloth next to you so that you can go back and clean off any excess ink. Okay, and you even need to check the ridges of the bottom of your plate because sometimes they'll get ink on them too. So clean that off as well before you run it through the letterpress. Okay, now I'm going to gently close this, carefully close it, and hold it so that it's steady so it doesn't shift once I put it down. Okay, then I'm going to get my letterpress, I'm sorry, my evolution, put the letterpress platform through it. Two passes. One, two, just to make sure that ink really gets on that paper. And then the big reveal. See how beautiful that is? 